Hello, my name's Dan, and um, I'm here with my friend Coco, who's a nine month old standard poodle. She's a great dog. Um, we love having her around in the, in, in the family. She's so easy to get on with, um, but she's fun to take out, and you know, she really likes having her run around, whether it's in the park or down at the beach or in the country. Um, no, she's, uh, she's great, really good. There's uh, my wife and I, uh, Ali and, and I, and we've got two daughters. Um, Livy's 20, and then Alex is 17, she's still at school doing her AS levels. So there's four of us in the, in the house, plus, plus Coco. I was definitely sure that we wanted a standard poodle for two reasons. One is they're hypoallergenic, in that they don't shed any um, fur at all. And also, because I'm six foot five, I wanted a proper sized dog. So when you put those two factors together, then the standard poodle was really the only one that we could go for. We're lucky that um, within a 10 minute walk of our house, there are five parks, which are all very dog friendly. There are plenty of open spaces that we can take Coco, that she can run off the lead and chase her, um, her ball and stuff. We have been playing for the last couple of months with a special balls which we bought from the um, ethical pet company and they're fantastic, Kego loves them and so far we managed not to lose any of them or have them eaten by her. For the previous couple of months I've been using tennis balls and they are of limited uh, interest to Coco, apart from the fact that she can eat them. So she basically manages to either strip all the stuff off them uh, or crush them within probably sort of two to three days of getting a tennis ball. And the Zogo Flex ball she's, we've had for a month or so and she hasn't put a dent in it yet. It's a bit more interesting to her when we throw it and it bounces all over the place. She can chase it and she likes, she's still a puppy, she likes to go a bit mad, whereas tennis balls are a bit more um, one directional, I guess. I think so, yes. I mean, I trust the ethical pet company, so if they tell me it's eco-friendly, then it would be. They wouldn't be selling it if it wasn't. It's important that it does what it's meant to, and, and, and it definitely does. She loves, loves playing with it. But if it can do that in an ecologically sound way as well, then that's a, definitely an added bonus. Um, we like the website, and we found that there was stuff that we could get on there that we couldn't get anywhere else. Excellent, absolutely excellent. At a very personal level, you never feel that you're dealing with a company, you feel that you're dealing with a, a group of people that just happen to be selling the things that you want to buy. And that's, I think that's a big distinction.